there are times when we need to install .dev package files manually in our computer system. Which is why in this video I'm going to show you some of the best ways that you can use to install these files in your Linux computer system. So let's get started. For the demonstration I have this application Onico. So I'm going to install this .dev file in this computer system. So I'm running Ubuntu and it supports .dev files. So I'm going to open the terminal. So it is currently CD2 downloads because that's where the file is. So to install this .dev file, you can use Debian package command. So just type sudo because we need to make some changes in the root directory. So we need to have super user do permission. So type sudo and Debian package for installing Debian package dash i as a parameter and onico just hit the tab key it will auto complete the file name hit enter type in the password and application has been installed i can run the application by typing the application name and you can see here is the cat that is following the mouse cursor right so i'm going to uninstall this application because i have to show you the different ways for the installation so to uninstall it just type sudo apt pulse an application name that is onigo and it will unsolve the file press ctrl l to clear the terminal let me type ls again you can also use advanced packagemen tool to install this file so i'm going to type sudo apt install then file name you have to type dot slash then the file name then only it will install the package file hit enter as i have already typed the password so it has not asked me for the password and it has installed the package file so let me type onico again and here is the cat so using the terminal you can install the package file like this you can also use the graphical interface for example i have the file here I can simply double click on it and uh, it will open the file in the software center. Most of the distributions comes with the software center nowadays and uh, when you click on the package file it will open it in the software center. First I am going to unsolve this application. So I have unsolved it and I can install it again by clicking on the install button. It will ask me for the password and uh, the installation will start and it will install the application. So it has installed. I can simply click on launch button and Onico will start. I can also remove it from here and uh, it will ask me for the password. I have to type the password and it will remove the application from the system. I have to remove the application from the process as well. So just bear with me. So there is no Onico application installed in the computer as of now. Some of the distribution don't have a software center. In that case, they comes with a, another utility called ZDB. So if I click on select application, then there is a ZDB package installer. So I have installed this application manually in the system because it does not come by default in Ubuntu. But uh, the distributions that don't have a software center, they usually have such application like ZDB to install the package files. So you can click on this and this will open up the window. And uh, here you can simply click on install package and it will install the application. It also takes care of all the dependencies if the application requires. So you don't have to worry about that in this case. So it has installed the application and I can simply start the application. So I'm using this Alvert launcher. So if you don't know what Alvert launcher is, you can check out the video given in the description. So I can simply type Onico and hit enter and Onico will pop up. The dependency thing can also be resolved using the terminal. So if you are trying to install an application and it is showing that some dependencies are required in order to install the application, then you can use this command sudo apt then install then dash f. So this will fix any dependencies if you encountered while installing the application. So this was it in this video on how to install .dev files in your computer. I hope it helped you and if it did hit that subscribe button and like button as well let me know in the comment section as well and uh, i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux